Hi, my name is Sherry. I'm a nurse here at Right at Home St. Louis, and we are nominating Lauren Adams for the Beacon of Hope Award. She's been with our company for years now, and we just all love her as well as her client and family. They have requested her almost exclusively throughout the years, and she has managed that case for them, and just been, she's become a part of the family. She's an inspiration to everybody that she's around, and she has just shown such great perseverance in her job. She's decided that she likes it so much. She's now a full-time nursing student. And as she's working full-time and going to school full-time for her nursing degree, she's also been tutoring other nursing students so that they too can um, excel as she has in all areas of the healthcare. Hello, I'm Jackie Phillips, the owner of AccuCare Home Healthcare, and we nominated Yolanda Chris fondly known by her clients as Yo-Yo, for the Beacon of Hope Award because of her personalized, tender, loving care she gives to every client she works with. So often a disease or medical condition becomes the main focus and the idea that a much-loved family member inside can often be forgotten. Yolanda has an unbelievable way of connecting with people on a very different level. She has a beautiful ability to communicate and care for her clients and her gentle touch and soft-spoken, reassuring voice makes her very special to everyone she meets. And that is why we have nominated Yolanda Chris for the Beacon of Hope Award. Hi, my name is Sherry Zaget, and I work for Right at Home St. Charles. Um, I wanted to nominate Michelle Crawford. She also works for Right at Home St. Charles uh, for the Beacon of Hope Award. Michelle generally just has one client. Um, devotes all of her time to that client, caring for them, advocating, setting up doctor's appointments, hair appointments, etc. cetera. Um, all of her clients that she's been with consider Michelle part of the family. Uh, she will work with other caregivers very well, work with the family. Um, she just makes a tremendous impact on everyone that she sees. I cannot say enough wonderful things about Michelle and her caring heart and the compliments she receives. Hi, my name is Ken Klump. I'm the administrator of Friendship Village Chesterfield. It is my privilege to nominate Patty Gomez as Friendship Village Chesterfield for the Beacon of Hope Award. Patty has an ultra positive attitude and a get it done spirit no matter what the task. She has provided outstanding service to the Friendship Village residents and her fellow coworkers for 17 plus years. Patty's title is Medical Records Coordinator, but she serves a much broader role for the residents, families, and coworkers of Friendship Village. She has given residents showers, made beds, assisted at mealtime, consoled family members, spent the night in inclement weather, cleaned resident rooms, performed resident exit surveys, followed up with discharged residents, supported staff COVID testing, educated staff on new programs, and provided awesome homemade bakery goods, my personal favorite. All of this while completing her duties expertly as a medical records coordinator. Patty has given selflessly and takes on the hard challenges others would shy away from. She personifies a beacon of hope to our residents, their families and friends, and her coworkers. Thank you for considering Patty for this award. Martha Sands nominates Andrea Hansen for this year's Beacon of Hope Award. Our Director of Nursing demonstrates compassion and excellent leadership skills, bridging communication between caregivers, clients, and their families. She persevered through this pandemic, leading her team and placing herself in harm's way to protect other caregivers, even after contracting the virus. She is a beacon of hope to all caregiving communities. Hi, my name is Sherry Zaget. I work for Right at Home St. Charles. Um, I nominate Jean Scott for the Beacon of Hope Award with Right at Home St. Charles. She continually touches her clients' families with each person she cares for. Um, long after their services are discontinued, bringing them holiday goodies and dinners. Um, one thing that amazes me about Jean is that she had a great impact on one of our paralyzed clients. She sought out a Hoyer lift and a sit-to-stand from previous clients wanting to donate these, picked them up, delivered them to the clients in need on her own time with her husband and her truck. Uh, while she does all of this, she also cares for her dad in her home and has cared for many family members through the end of their life. Uh, in her home while raising her children and grandchildren. She's truly just an amazing person. I nominate Susan Sullivan from BJC Medical Group for the Beacon of Hope Award. Susan spent over 40 years throughout a variety of service sites, 
to help our patients and residents have a better life. She most recently helped found the St. Louis Roundtable, a collaborative of the four hospital systems, over 10 nursing homes, and other quality improvement organizations in home care to improve the consistencies and protocols we utilize to help improve transitions of care as our patients navigate health systems. She's worked collaboratively with a variety of people and has helped to break down silos, always keeping the patient's best interests in mind and in our hearts. She's truly a beacon of hope. Hello, I've nominated Susan Taylor, Administrator at NAC Maryland Heights. Susan practices our company's slogan, caring in a better way day by day. She shows her love and compassion for our residents always. She works uh, diligently to make sure they are comfortable, they're happy, and they're safe. She you know, is always busy. If the need arises, it's not uncommon to find her helping to clean a room, giving a shower, assisting someone at a meal. I even find her in the kitchen. She is approachable by all the residents, the family members, and the staff. She has an open door policy, which she'd rather be out on the floor, but she's willing to listen to any suggestions or ideas for a better way, or even if you just need a friendly ear. I've worked with Susan for 18 years, and she's been a wonderful mentor and a teacher. I'm proud to call her my friend. During the initial COVID outbreak, Susan diligently worked tirelessly to make sure we had all the PPE and the supplies that we needed to keep everyone safe. At NHC, Susan Taylor is our beacon of hope. Joanne Weiss from Frontier Health and Rehab was nominated for the Beacon of Hope Award because she is a friend of everyone's. Joanne is a brilliant light of kindness and positivity, and she improves the day of everyone before she's even taken three steps into the building. She genuinely cares for her staff and residents and has made a noticeable impact on the morale of every single employee and resident she comes in contact with. Joanne clocks in every day because she has a passion for the residents and helping to add a light to all of their lives.